we are getting back into our series where we are comparing my numbers in my first 12 months of professionally competing to some of the numbers of legends. Now, I think a lot of the interest of this is just in seeing like, how do things stack up now to how they were? Uh, I definitely think eras change and, and there's so much context uh, dependent, but I just like to see how far off am I of the best of all time. And today we're going to do a legend in the sport, Brian Shaw, who has 65 international contests, 27 of which he has won. Contrast that with me. I have a me measly 12 international shows and five wins. I think proportionally our win rate is similar. Now, of course, Brian was contending with Big Z for most of his career. That was an amazing rivalry. So that being said, we've got our seven event comp here. And we're going to see how we stack up. So we're going to go max deadlift, Austrian oak for reps, 500 kilo yoke, a frame carry, a max dumbbell, loading race, and a stone run. And we're basically just going to go head to head. So we're going to start it off with max deadlift from the ground. Now, Brian did 463 kilos on the elephant bar in the 2019 Arnold. My best on the elephant bar was about 452 kilos, 11 kilos off Brian. I do think on the day I would have been very, very close if I was pushed to that number, but he does get the one nothing win. I have deadlifted 475 kilos, but that was in a suit. So we're going to ignore that one for this. Now, the next one we're going to go to is the Austrian Oak. Over time, it's gone between 195 and 205 kilos. This year, we did the 200, or sorry, we did the 195 kilo, and I got three reps on that. Brian's best ever, um, and we're picking numbers from different years just to get the real peak. He did the Austrian Oak, the 200 kilos for two reps. Now, two reps at 200 or three reps at 195, I'm going to call that a win for me when it comes to the log press. So we're going to be 1-1 one, one now. And this brings us to a yoke. Now, I think this is really dependent on how heavy the yoke is. And I think Brian is probably one of the only people that I would say there is a situation in which he could beat me on the yoke, which I think is if it was extremely, extremely heavy, say 650 kilos like they did in the Arnold a few years back. Uh, now, let's just say it is reasonable, and let's say 500 kilos for 20 meters, which is a pretty standard thing. I don't think Brian could catch me. My best ever, 500 kilos for 20 meters, was at the Shaw Classic, and I was a little over 11 seconds, I think 11.8 seconds, and I think that would be moving too fast for Brian to keep up. So, I take an early lead, and I am up 2-1. to one. Next up is the frame carry. And we're going to do the Arnold frame carry because that's something that we've both done before. Uh, Brian finishes in 10 seconds and I did this in 14.6. I did drop it. I think if I held on, I could be much faster than my 14 seconds, but I didn't. So Brian pulls it back to be 2-2 with three events left. Now, next event we're going to do is the max dumbbell. Max dumbbell is... Uh, something that I have improved on quite a bit, a la my nice technique. Comment below what you think of my technique. Very efficient, very effective. But Brian is actually unbelievable. His best is three reps on the 136 kilo. This is a sear dumbbell, but nonetheless, I find those pretty difficult. My best is 140 kilos at World's Strongest Man this year. This has to go to Brian. Three reps at 136 is absolutely mind-boggling to me and something that I, I don't think I have any business in thinking about. Are you sure that it was 136 kilos for reps? I'm pretty sure that's the year that Big Z did four. I'm going to double-check this. We're fact-checking. Please hold. Five hours later. So, Shane, I fall behind. Three, two. But... We get to loading race now. And I think this being one of my strengths and one of Brian's weaknesses in terms of speed, I think it's pretty well established that I would win. His fastest world's loading time is 5 and 43. Mine is 5 in 38. Of course, it's different implements, different surfaces, all of that. But I think it's safe to say that I would be uh, faster on average than Brian at any stage. And that brings us to 3-3 three, three in this competition. The final event is going to be a stone run. And this is where I suffer a 
very sad defeat because Brian is one of the best stone lifters of all time and I am definitely not there yet. So Brian's best stone run five in 24.5 seconds at 2015 Worlds and my best was five in 37 seconds. Slightly different setup with the run-ins and whatnot, but I am not deluded enough to think that that means that I would contend with him. So, Brian wins 4-3, a tight battle. Let me know what you guys think about that battle and if you think that that's accurate. The one caveat I will put to all of this is, of course, this is dependent on no one being in between you. And you could lose one event by a long margin and we only in this scenario lose one point. So it's very possible that there would be much more points than just one separating us in a full show. But it is cool to look back and look at the numbers and just subjectively go, look, he beats me, but it's not, it's not miles apart. And to me, as sort of, I still think of myself as, as the new guy in the sport. I think that is, it's humbling and it's, it's really encouraging for me of how, how much further um, I think I could go and uh, how being a part of the conversation in Legends, if I were to stick with it for a very long time, uh, is a possibility. Now, I think the biggest testament to Brian and the coolest thing about doing all of these different analysis is that there are so many years to look back on for him. And the number one thing that he's been able to achieve in the sport that very few have is the longevity of him being at the top. Of course, he capped off his career with the strongest man on earth title this year, uh, which he beat me out for that. Uh, and uh, that's the bit that I think is absolutely incredible. Uh, but let me know, what do you guys think? Do you think I would maybe stand a chance? Do you think I've just made a comp that I would do really well at? Um, or do you think that maybe it's close? Go ahead and pop that in the comments and let us know who do you think we should do a head to head with next. If you'd like to check out the others, we've done one with Thor and we've done one with Eddie. So go ahead and check those out. And as per usual, lift heavy and be kind, and we'll catch you next time.